Don't freak yet. out. Not yet. There you go, Victoria. When I took my selfie, Jefferson asked me a question. If he does again, I'll know this is for real. Kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. I know I'm not dreaming this. You all know, the it's real. Has been I can tell. The early 1800s. Your generation so I can go back in time. For selfie expression. What if that girl selfie. isn't dead yet? I couldn't resist. The point Can I save that her? The portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography. For I need to go to the bathroom quickly and check it out. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? I'm sorry. I feel sick. May I be excused? Nice try, Max. But you're not going to get away that easy. We can talk more after class. Is there anybody oh, here shit. who knows their stuff? Jefferson wants to keep me after class. And I need time to save that girl. A process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. So I'm not allowed to. Very good, Victoria. What if I rewind again and give him the right answer? From the sounds of it, it looks like I only have like a specific amount of time. Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation. The Daguerrean process, invented by a French painter named Louis Daguerre around 1830. Somebody has been reading as well as posing. Nice work, Max. Okay. <laughs> the Daguerrean process made portraiture hugely popular, mainly because it gave the subjects clear defined features. You can learn more when you actually finish reading the assigned chapters. Max is so far way ahead of everyone. Oh. Hey guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Max, hey. you are not crazy. You are not dreaming. It's time to be an everyday hero. I should probably still talk to her. Nice answer, Max. Are you okay? You look pale. Kate, uh, did we talk at all today? This is the first time. What's wrong? I'm sorry, I'm just dripping. Too much stress. <laughs> I know the feeling. I just really think everyday heroes... I wish we didn't. I wish we didn't. I do have to go, but we can talk later if you want. I'll see how I feel. Thanks, Max. There you go. That sounds like a nice answer. Let's uh, continue. I to feel excluded from this process, but I also want everybody to know. Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson. Can I talk to you for a moment? Yes. Excuse you. No, Victoria. Excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's. Yes. I'm not avoiding. Just. Biding time? Waiting for the elusive right moment? Exactly. Max, don't wait too long. John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Okay, so I go, go save now. the other girl and then go life will stop. happen to let me get the butterfly. Well, I only clicked that to... Damn it. I also want everybody to know okay. that this photographic world is not for everybody. If I just ignore I see you, Max him. Caulfield. Oh. Don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. Damn it. I need to save. What's her name, though? I'd never let one of photography. Yes. I'm on top of it. I think John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Max, you're on fire today. All the right answers, good. All the right answers, I'm kind of cheating. Make sure you finish working <laughs> on it by today. I have faith in you. Alright. One second, please. Considering a certain person who was in my party is now not in my party, and I think is now back in my party. <laughs> Dang it! Right, 
Let's open Twitch back up so I can... Right. Let's leave. Let's go save blue-haired girl. I, I hope don't know I have her name. time to get to the bathroom. Please, please. I can't tell anybody. They'll think I'm crazy. I need to pee so bad. Oh. Okay, Max. Retrace every step. Okay. I washed my face. I shredded my photo. Then the butterfly flew in. And I took a photo. Mr. Jefferson Hart. Out of this bitch. <laughs> I, love that. I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. Okay, right now, what do I have to do? Do I have to go hit him or something? Where did you get that? What are you doing? Come on, put that oh, down. Oh, oh, can I not? Oh, sir, it's happening again. I need a hammer to break it open. We're going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would Aha. ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! Oh, dang it. Going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody. No, he has a gun. I should do something else. Get that gun away from me, psycho! Ah, date. I'm really bad at this. <laughs> Ever even missed your punk ass, would they? No way. Don't ever touch me again, freak. Yeah. Another shitty day. That did not happen. This cannot be real. I just saw a girl get shot and then saved her. What the fuck is going on? Do not freak out. Hey, do you hear that fire alarm? That means you should be outside. I, I need to, to pee. Use the <laughs> Girls always use that excuse. But that's that's excuse a massively for what? sexist. For whatever you're up to. Your face is covered in guilt. The alarm tripped me out. Then trip on out of here, Missy. Or are you hiding something? Huh? Thank so you're you, talking Mr. to me. I would like to leave. The situation is under control. There's no emergency here. Leave Miss Caulfield alone and please turn off that alarm since that's your job. You look a little stressed out. Are you okay? I'm... I'm just a little worried about my future. Are you sweating? Yes, he has a plastic head, doesn't he? Is that all you're thinking about? <laughs> you can always be up front with me, Max. Or have you done something wrong? Is that it? Well, Max, talk to me. Okay, don't guilt trip me. Oh, God, um... Um... I'm gonna... I'm gonna report him. I just saw Nathan Prescott waving a gun around in the girls' room. Nathan Prescott? You sure? Yes. He was <clears> in the bathroom <throat> talking to himself with a gun. I saw everything. He was babbling like crazy. Okay, slow down. Slow down. So now you saw this without him seeing you. I was hiding behind a stall. I have the right to be there. It's the girls' room. I know, I know. I just want to be completely clear what happened. Oh, that's that thing moving. Mr. Movie. Prescott happens to be from the town's most distinguished family, and one of Blackwell's most honored students. So it's hard for me to see him brandishing a weapon in the girls' bathroom. So what happened next? Then, then he left. I know it's like I very sassy. What to do? Are you going to bust him? This is serious charge. I'll look into the matter personally. Thank you for bringing it to my attention. That's it? After what I told we'll you? He's not going to do anything about it. Later so I, report, I'm, I think I'm going to... Please go outside. I don't know. I might just ignore him completely. He just went straight past him. <laughs> of course this academic drone won't do anything since the uh, Prescott dang family it. owns Blackwell now. Should I rewind and change my story? Um... What happens if I do click the other way? I'm just gonna... Kalima!
Yeah. Oh. I just saw like you a look bloody. a little stressed out. I just got sick in class. Um, female trouble. Except you're wandering around like a zombie. And do uh, you think that's the first time a student has used that line on me? It's the truth. I felt dizzy in Mr. Jefferson's just class. Just tell me what you're hiding. You can trust me. There's nothing to hide. I got sick. It happens, you know. There's that teen toot again. You know, I've, I've heard enough. Don't think I don't know what goes on around here. You've only been here for three weeks, and you're already causing conflict. Okay, I kind of like the other I outcome better. <laughs> will prove when they find out. Now get outside with class. Yeah, no. Please. I know you're not going to do anything about it, but at least I'm going to bring it to your attention. No, he does not buy that at all. I may have just flushed my scholarship down the toilet. Yes, I could rewind and actually tell him the truth. Oh, oh. Okay, I've got to be careful of that. You look a little stressed out. I just yeah. saw Nick. Okay, right. Let's just keep on going. Yeah. Well, I don't think... I think these consequences aren't really going to be... Effect that That's not really going to affect it. I mean, if I pick the other one... I would have it would have been bad. Would Nathan Prescott please come to the front oh. office? Thank you. Well, that's good. He called him to the office. Hello, Mrs. Grant. Hi, Ms. Grant. Ms. Glozell Grant. Me, Max. I know everybody loves being asked to sign See, a petition. It's Glozell, See? Would you do Miss Grant a favor and hear me out? <laughs> okay, Glozell. Sure, I always have time for you. What's the petition? David Madsen, our chief of security, wants to put surveillance cameras all around the campus. Halls, classrooms, gym, dorm rooms, etc. Blackwell Academy should be a high school, not a high security penitentiary. David Madsen? Wait, who's David Madsen? Uh. Oh, yes. Yeah, he wasn't a janitor, he was the, um, he was the security guard. I kind of want to say it could have helped Rachel, but I don't want to seem like a cow, so... That's crazy. I get why school should be on high alert these days, but cameras... Okay, I, was, I would say that's crazy. I wouldn't have even thought slow. about Rachel, I'm and sorry to hear you say that, but... <laughs> up here. Blackwell Academy has a noble heritage. From the Native Americans who founded this land to the pioneers who <laughs> shared it in peace, not fear and violence. Blackwell's the home. You know a lot. <laughs> you know a lot about Blackwell for being the science teacher. Science is history, Max. And I have a secret wish to teach local lore and legends. There's a lot of unique facts about this I like this you character. Really enjoy discovering. Now also, she has my tattoo around her neck. <laughs> Will you please sign the petition to keep our campus from going back to 1984? Absolutely. I don't mind security, <laughs> but not pure surveillance. I knew you were my favorite new student at Blackwell for a good reason. <laughs> Peace sandwich is my tattoo. That just doesn't sound good. Oh, I got what's this? Warren? Hello? Oh, this is this is quick typing going on right here. <laughs> I'll meet you in the lot. A parking lot. Okay, I better get to my dorm and grab that flash drive. I did my hair just hot, casually chilling on Mr. the floor. Mr. Jefferson has such a gift for different styles. Hi, how are you? Oh my God, Ryan, look at this. <laughs> Hang on. That's just a reused character model. That's not very nice. Hey there, Stella.